Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will talk about the market prices. Bitcoin seems to unleash the altcoin section. So some, some gains are ahead of us. We will talk about Aaron, how far I think it will go and where it will bottom out, let's say. Also, I'm going to share with you my altcoin portfolio just to check what was a risky and what was a good gainer uh, investment. In the end, I will talk about what are my plans with Cardano because however lazy the project team is, the project itself is good and I think there will be a very good entry point which will bring some good gains. So if you're interested, stay with me. Before we dive in, obviously the usual VPN if you want to get in contact with me, Twitter, Discord, everything is in the description. Press the subscribe button and smash the like button if you like the content. That is the only thing I need from you. So thanks for subscribing and thanks for smashing the like button. Now, let's start with Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin is trying to do this W. The movement is uh, not with a big confidence and we are on the 4-hour chart. So I would like to see something like this on the daily chart. Now, obviously, this easily can be a correction for the downward movement. And the downward movement for me is between this and this channel or borders. So we are still in this in this channel. And I think we would need to break the 60, 61,000 to with confidence say that yes, we are out of the forest. In the meantime, while Bitcoin is going sideways, the money is flowing back into the altcoin section. We can already see some pretty good gains. For example, as you can see here, Wabi. Bitcoin, yeah, it it went up 90% from yesterday, but I would I would refrain everyone from this project because it's a very massive pump and dump, and this happened a couple of times already, so that is why I don't really want to trade this project. I don't recommend and not a financial advice, but I wouldn't get in at this level into Wabi. Obviously, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, it's uh, from these pump and dump projects, it's safer to stay away. However, I don't know much about the Wabi project. I'm just watching the price movement. Back to Bitcoin. Now we are at the 58,300 and hopefully we will go a bit over. Now, as you can see, we're already touching the 10-day moving average. Um, this usually is some kind of resistance, not a very, very powerful one. So I, I can see some chances that we will visit this resistance again, after which we might go down again. In the meantime, Ethereum is trying to break out very, very hard and it, it is at this very important resistance line. And this resistance line was tried already twice. So this is like the third time. I think if Ethereum successfully breaks this through, then we can, um, we can expect it to go back to the all time high. And after breaches that resistance as well, I think the 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 are are uh, at the end of the tunnel we will see some some light at the end of the tunnel so that is what i'm expecting but in the meantime bitcoin needs to perform well needs to go sideways in an upward channel therefore it's very very narrow line which we are walking because if bitcoin pumps very hard then the altcoins will go down if bitcoin crashes it brings altcoins with it therefore yeah this is crypto this is how it goes around Aaron is at 430 and I know that many of you might cry about it or panic about it but you shouldn't I think this is a very healthy price action I know we came down from the 540 and that is already a 20% drop but if you yeah if you want to check the Fibonacci Fibonacci retracement it says that the 417 dollars is a strong support let's say i don't know if the price will stop there or not uh, right now i don't really buy errand to be honest i'm i'm only just using it i'm using some of my liquid to pay the fees to uh, harvest the rewards and to restake them uh, i'm very curious how it will go because today we do have something big and that is the lottery if you go to holo ride maya you can see that in two hours the lottery tickets will be bought therefore um, i'm very curious to see if this um i don't know lottery something will have any effect on the price now if we think uh with, with some logic we can say that uh, it shouldn't because everyone who wanted to unstake the errand they already unstaked it and 
to provide liquidity to buy tickets uh, for the whole ride i guess people are already prepared because the ticket buying should have been yesterday the price is a bit high right now it's not an overbought position but it is high i think therefore i don't think that many people will buy in right now so i expect around at least a month or two to go sideways somewhere here maybe it will come even lower below the 400s but uh, yeah i don't really care to be honest i'm holding it for years so it can go up and down as uh, as much as it wants now i'm not even convinced that uh, when bitcoin shoots out aaron will be just dragged by it because aaron kind of move moves independent it moves before or after the market and if we don't consider that my Ardex was launched and if we consider that this is a sign that Aaron moved first then we can expect some gains in the altcoin section which uh, yeah we are waiting for it for some time now now as you can see on the day on the four hour chart we we have now this uh, this dodgy candlestick which could um sign or signal a trend reversal as I said, for me, if it goes sideways, it's still okay. I don't have big expectations for Aaron to go back up and uh, go into price discovery in the next couple of weeks or maybe one or two months. For those who want to buy and uh, stay on the sideways right now, I think this is a this is a dip. This is a position where you can. Uh, buy and if it goes lower you can buy even more this is why what i always say this is how i do it i buy into any coins gradually not all in at one time because it's it's a very it's a fair chance that you can't catch the bottom or the top therefore that's why you have to take profit and that's why you have to buy in uh i don't know in 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 more steps in more steps than one i don't mean two steps i mean at least five or ten steps Let's move forward because I want to show you my um, small cap coin portfolio and uh, I, I yeah, keep track of it on um, CoinGecko. As you can see, I have like 12. So I, I always buy some, sell some. The ones I, I bought some time ago is, for example, Exceed Me. I bought Paid Network. I think for a year now or something like that. It was, I don't know when it was, maybe it was in January. I bought Super Farm some time ago. Yeah, I mean, I mean more like in zero with it. I bought Blocktopia yesterday. This is the first. So this is what I wanted to say because in yesterday's video I told you that I'm gonna invest in. I invested in Blocktopia, which is true. And this was the first transaction. This was around $150 or something like that, or $30 maybe, because I don't know whether it, if it's going to go up or down. Now with Blocktopia, I have bigger plans. I don't plan to sell Blocktopia in this bull run. Uh, if it does 100x from here, maybe I will sell some. Uh, I will be honest with you. But from 100 and uh, $30, that will be a 13,000. So maybe I will sell half of it. As you can see, my full investment here is a bit above $2,000, so it's really a small amount. Now, the reason I have only this $2,000 uh, is because these are small cap altcoins, and these have a lot of um, a lot of uh, risk with them. And just check Paid Network. Paid Network looked very good. Paid Network uh, white white paper is 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 a pretty white paper we can say so i bought him when it was around four dollars and then it went to 0 0.1 because there was a hack after the hack hack attack it went back to 0 0.5 maybe 0 0.4 so what i did i bought some more i brought the price down to 0 0.5 and going is not working right now i don't know why it doesn't matter let's just go back Therefore, I uh, yeah, I just I just brought my average price from four dollars, four point four maybe to one point five. That's why I'm still in minus fifty percent. Paid network for me is still a good project. Uh, it's just I got the top. I took the top. I bought it. I bought it into the top. Uh, maybe it was a bit of a formal as well. And as you can see, it didn't work out too well for me. Ulti Arena was so so far the, the biggest one and the, the best one, I think, in this portfolio. Uh, I already took back my, my capital and I'm just waiting to see what it's doing. As you can see from yesterday, it had a 30% gain, but this was already higher up as well. It doesn't matter. It's a good one. Other good investment was Exceed Me, uh, but 
even even if I believe in exceed me, I didn't buy him with a lot of money. I bought him with like 300, 350, something like that, something like that. So as you can see, I have many coins here. Luncheria is also here. I didn't buy any more because they didn't show. I don't know what. And uh, I, I am waiting for something. I am waiting for some progress. Uh, to be honest, I didn't check on them for some time. So maybe that will be the next step. But based on the price movement, uh, not much happened. Probably they are working on the project. Uh, they just, I think it was one month ago when, uh, when they announced some partnership with IBM. So what I wanted to show you with this. Investing in small cap altcoins is very risky. It can easily go down 80%, 90%. Don't put money uh, or, or more than 2-3% of your portfolio in any of the altcoins because, yeah, that's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt and it's better not to. So just think how much money can I lose, which I don't really feel, how much money I am uh, willing to sacrifice for a good gain or to risk to lose it all. Therefore, every time you see a small cap altcoin doing a 100% gain from one day to another, just be sure that you are prepared to uh, be in that coin or to, uh, to have your money in that coin for a longer time, because the next day it might lose 30, 40% easily. And that's not even a bad thing. That's not even a big, big uh, loss. It's just you catch the peak and you will have to wait a longer time until it accumulates and comes back. Okay, let's see what is happening with Cardano because Cardano is going down. And for first, let's just check the, the price. So as you can see, Cardano's peak was in, uh, in the beginning of September. And since then it went down at around 50%, I think. Yeah, uh, this is because they announced the 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 DEX, um, many DEXs and the smart contracts, and they said that a lot of things are going to happen. And in the end, nothing really happened. And I am a bit I'm a bit upset with the team, not because I have Cardano. I don't have Cardano to be honest, because I sold everything. But does this mean that Cardano is a bad project? No, it doesn't. And it's, I'm not talking only about the community, okay? I'm talking about their white, their white paper, what they are trying to do. Uh, yeah, the laziness behind all of this, obviously, it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit annoying. But if they succeed to do everything they want to do, then Cardano will be a pretty big project. And I do see that it could flip Ethereum if the team starts to deliver. In the meantime, Cardano is going down and uh, I don't think that we will have any big updates in the next month because they said the DEX would be the next step uh, which uh, could could just pump Cardano as Aaron's Maillard DEX pumped Aaron. So what I'm looking at right now, we will have a bull run probably, that's what I'm hoping for in December, January, something like that. Cardano will probably go up with the other altcoins as well. I don't know how much, uh, probably some people are buying, others are, are taking out their money from Cardano, probably with some minuses. I know that there are a lot of people who made big profits from Cardano and I think that was a very good investment. But right now what I'm looking at for Cardano is the next bear market. I am waiting for Cardano to go down lower and lower as low as it can, because then I will probably buy some because when the DEX will be finally released as it is in test phase right now, so probably one or two years they will work on it, I am expecting a huge pump from Cardano. By then the market cap will be much lower, Cardano maybe will not even be in the, in the, in the top 10 coins and I know that I already see the comments about how, how I dare say this, but yeah, look at the chart. So. What I'm planning to do is wait, wait until I see that something is moving in the project. I will buy Cardano. I might even stake it just to make sure that it's not just sitting there. It's working, obviously, and I will wait for their next big announcements. This is all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, smash the like button. You help me a lot with it. I will come back today with another video. Hopefully the team will not delay the whole ride lottery another day. If they don't and the lottery will go on, then I am intending to record uh, how I buy the lottery tickets so you can also see it 
and uh, I don't know, follow it if you have problems with it or if you have difficulties. Thank you for watching and I see you today, I guess.